Hey, welcome back to The Interface. My name is Alex, and today we're going to look at how to get started with Castos. So if you're not aware, uh, The Interface, we run three different podcasts, uh, and powering it all is Castos. So very happy with using Castos. It's the way we host the podcasts and distribute them to all the different platforms, as well as managing the show notes. So it's a really good tool. Uh, we've been using it for about a year now. So so it is a paid a paid product. There is a, a, a trial that you can get with it. Uh, so the pricing for it is... Uh, so it's nineteen dollars a month. Uh, I think that's what we pay, and we pay, uh, yeah, one hundred ninety dollars a year. We get unlimited podcasts and episodes, listener stats, uh, and Castos is also now giving you a way to monetize your podcast with Castos ads. So if we go to features and then dynamic ads, uh, we're currently using this on our podcasts. And it helps pay for running the shows, so you can turn on the ads. Uh, it'll tell you how many impressions you've had, the payouts you, you're supposed to get. You just set it and forget it, and it will sort itself out. So, we're going to log into my Castos account and show you how to set up a new show. So, as I said, we've got three different shows Charging Status, Creator Spotlight, and UI Chat. Those are all available at theinterface.uk forward slash podcasts. Check those out. There's some great shows. We're going to look at the Charging Status ones. So we go to Settings. Um, so, we've got the podcast title, the description, the cover art, and these are all imported into Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts and the other platforms that you might use. Uh, we've got feed details, so we can give the show some categories, so the, the automotive category and then some tertiary and secondary categories. Advanced feed, so we can give a show a website. Um, so Castos can actually run a website for you, uh, but we actually host the, the show on our own website. Uh, you can specify how many, feed, how many episodes you want in the feed, the copyright information, own and host, so this is the interface, that's the owner, listener support, and all that sort of thing. So... A quick look at the episode. So this is how you manage the episode. So each episode is listed, listed here. So if we click on June example, so set the title, uh, set the show notes, and the show notes are rich formatting. So you can you can specify bold text. And most podcast platforms understand the difference between bold and links and things. I have found that Apple Podcasts doesn't support bold text, but these inline links they do support, which is quite nice. Uh, you can upload the the uh, file for the uh, sh the show itself. Best to use an MP3 because that's the smallest, sort of most compact size. Season episodes, the episode type. You can even set an episode image and then the time that you want it to go live. With podcasts, I have found that if you schedule the podcast to go live at a specific time, it does go live a lot quicker than you if you do it off the cuff. So I have found if I just hit a blow, it takes about an hour to show up an hour podcast. But if you hit, if you do a scheduled time, it shows up pretty quickly. Uh, with the show notes, keep in mind to keep this pretty pretty short uh, and to the point and put more details in your episode link. Apple Podcasts, for example, it cuts it off at a certain level of uh, characters, which is quite annoying. Uh, and then you've got analytics of the show and all the different episodes, and you can specify which ones you want running. We've got monetization as well, so we've got the ads, we've got that turned on. Distribution, so we've got our cast off feed here, and we can say uh, push it to Spotify, Amazon, even YouTube, you have to pay for that feature. And then we've got some other other uh, services here. So back to podcasts. Uh, if you want to add a new show, this is how you do it. So you click on add new podcast, let's give it a show, give it a name and title. So we're going to say uh, cast off basics. Uh, all about Castos. So next, give it a a uh, image to use. We're going to skip that for now. So that's the URL that you can have. So you can have uh, podcast name dot castos dot com, and they'll just give you a free website for that if you just want a podcast just running with that website. And that's really cool. Uh, the fact that for the price that Castos is, they'll give you a free website to run with it. Pick categories and things. So you've got loads of categories to choose from. So we're going to say technology and podcasting so there you go it's giving you a url for the show the categories extra podcast information uh we're going to choose that cop that cover out there and create my podcast so there you go i've got a new show called castos basics uh with the show out there uh, we can even go to our website so if we click on uh the website here and we go visit podcast website castosbasics.castos.com and we've got episodes and things in here we've got about information uh, we can customize that. We subscribe, subscribe to the show. We've got the RSS feed there. So that's how you make a new podcast within Cast Castos. Really easy to do. And then you can go on to add enable ads and 
uh, commerce, which is really cool. They've got donations and things now. We've got analytics of the show. So if we go to charging status, for example, we're going to analytics, we can view how many uh, listens we've had to date. Uh, we've got top episodes here. So we've got information about uh, how many listens each episode's had, where they're coming from, what app they're using, Spotify. The Spotify integration doesn't work very well. Um, I think it has been fixed now just by what I'm looking at here. So if I click on... Yeah, it takes a few weeks to update, which is a bit annoying. There are some really cool automations as well. So um, you can link it with ConvertKit, Teachable Stripe. Uh, so Stripe is for Castos Commerce and Podia as well. Uh, and then you can do... Uh, subscriber only shows uh, so you can have a private podcast that you can have it's yeah, so a castos have some really cool integrations so we've got integrations for your show we've got audio tra transcription so i've used this on a few of my episodes it's 10 uh, cents an audio minute um and it will actually transcribe the show for you you've got youtube republishing so if you pay for the 500 and 490 dollars a month a, a year um and you can it will automatically publish to youtube for you we've got stripe convert kit We've got Castos Productions, so you can pay Castos and they'll produce show notes, quote cards, they'll edit the, the podcast for you, uh, they'll do it in three days and publish your website as well for you, that's about $1,000 a month roughly. They'll do more hope, more um, show notes, more quote cards, uh, audiogram, that sort of thing, so it's really cool. Uh, you can ask them about that if you want to. Uh, and there's one last thing, they'll do a cover image generator, uh, so they'll make cover art for you. That's been a quick look at uh, how to use Castos. If you want to learn more about the interface, have a look at interface.uk. As I mentioned, we've got three different podcasts: Charging Status, Create Spotlight, UI Chat. Look at uh, interface.uk forward slash podcast. And we have an affiliate link with Castos. So check out the link in the description down below. That will help support the interface. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.